Okay, Sanders family, uh, again, building a poured in place concrete, 15 foot by eight feet wide by five feet deep uh, hot tub. That's gonna be a very large hot tub, more like a plunge pool. Um, Andy at buildahottub.com did all of the design work for us and I did end up using a, a concrete contractor to help build this out. I, I haven't done a lot of concrete work and was a little daunted by it. Now that I know or I've seen him do it and I'm going to explain to you, I think it's very doable um, on one's own, um, particularly with Andy's plans. And our, it's funny, our contractor is always carrying a copy around of the uh, design that he came up with to determine exactly how to set everything up. So the, the plans are super detailed and uh, walk you through every step of the process. There's the pump house uh, with the lines headed over here. So first they dug the hole, obviously. Um, they had to level everything. Uh, water's heavy, so they this is going to be a really solid structure. You can see they used uh, a little upgraded, larger rebar. I can't remember which number it is. But everything is on 6-inch centers. And... Um, I'm going to hop down in here and show you a little bit of detail. So one of the things that I've learned with this is waterproofing uh, concrete is really important when you're building a hot tub or a pool. That concrete is porous and not inherently waterproof by nature. So you really want to pay attention to that. And Initially, they were going to pour this in a monolithic manner, which means they pour the floor and the walls and everything at the same time, so there's no uh, gaps, and that was the their, their reasoning to do that was, again, to make sure that it was totally waterproof, but that's turned out to be a little harder than we thought, so we're pouring it in two units, so the slab will be poured uh, actually tomorrow. It's a 12-inch slab, and <clears throat> this is the footing on the outside. So the, the interior and exterior, all this will be poured at one time, the whole floor well. Now then the, the walls will be poured separately after they put up the forms on the inside and the outside, and I do all the plumbing. The, so to join the slab and the wall, um, what we're doing, and I'll, I'll get a little closer here. So you can see these two by fours, and the concrete will come up to the outside here, which is above those two, or at the level of those two by fours. The concrete will fill in here, and then these two by fours will create a notch in the footing. And um, this rubber here is waterproof, and you can see it sticks down into the footing um, to form a watertight joint. So this is called a water bar, is what that rubber material is called. So half of that rubber will be down in the foundation, and then half will be sticking out of the foundation and eventually will bond into the wall when those go up. And that will span that gap between the floor and the wall to make that watertight. The other thing is this: these 4x4s four will come out, and there'll be a notch in the foundation. So when we pour the wall, they call it a, a keyhole or a keyway. So the vertical wall will have cement that actually goes down into the foundation and, and keys into that to lock it in place. So that adds strength and it also, again, you can imagine water would have to go from inside, down the keyway, through the water bar plastic, across and back up to get out. So that's uh, one of the waterproofing techniques uh, for this process. So all they did was they formed up the foundation first um, put in the rebar, and then they came in, and you can see how they have bent and tied the rebar to to the uh, foundation rebar um, just with wire um, to get the vertical components started up, and then they just built this cage, basically, is all they've done of rebar. Um, so this is not a gunite pool, right? This will be poured in place walls, uh, different than a typical swimming pool. And... Uh, then the pipes will come in, will go in here. All of the uh, um, jet bodies will be mounted on the outside. They'll go through here. The interior uh, forms will be out of plywood, so I'll cut holes through the plywood. The two and a half inch PVC will go through the plywood, and then we'll seal around it with silicone before we pour the concrete. 
um, and cap those. And so all you, next you'll see all the plumbing will end up eventually out here. Um, and then we have to mount a skimmer up in here. I'll have to cut out a section for the skimmer and, uh, you know, determine our levels. This pool is going to sit, the edge will be about 20 inches above ground level. So the idea is you'll walk out on this concrete, you can sit down on the edge of it, it'll be chair height, swing your feet over and then down into the hot tub. And the hot tub will have a bench all the way around the interior, uh, except for one end where you can stand. But it'll be 270 degrees of a bench to sit on with some loungers and then, um, uh, you know, lights and jets. Uh, and we're going to cover the whole thing in tile, interior and exterior. Originally, we had talked about just doing uh, raw concrete for the look, but I've worried about sealing it. So what will happen is after this concrete cures for 30 days, we apply um, a pool-approved waterproof sealer um, that I'll share the company name of which it's quite expensive stuff but you seal the whole thing the whole interior uh, and they guarantee the waterproofing and then you seal around all the jets that come through so you seal that you give it a few days and then you use um, pool approved uh, uh, mortar for your tile and grout for your tile and then we'll tile the whole interior and then we'll have capstones uh, like bluestone around the top edge and then just flagstone or travertine around the exterior 20 inches that shows. Thanks so much and Andy, all of these plans are, are yours and the design, uh, everybody's been impressed um, with all the structural engineering and the flow dynamics and, um, and they've actually run this past a, a structural engineer and uh, thought that the design was spot on. So, until next time. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.